Berlin Wall, or Berlin Wall Memorial rather. Um, my face is actually so oily. I didn't realize I had oily skin. It feels very oily. Vanessa's giving me the look. Everyone's just looking at us on the train. <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you. On the inside, desperate residents jump down from their apartment windows onto the pavement below in West Berlin. Some paid with their lives as a result. The destruction caused when Berlin Wall was built left its mark on the district. Countless houses were torn down and graves from the Sophia Cemetery. So we just got to the Berlin Wall Memorial site. So when they knocked it down, they replaced it with these steel rods. I don't know if it's steel, but these metal rocks, rocks, rods, basically. So this is the site where it once stood. And when you reach here, um, there's like a, I don't know what it is, but you press English and it explains to you basically the history of the war, um, what happened. So yeah, it's, it's weird being here and knowing that that structure used to stand. But we're gonna have a look around and hopefully discover discover more. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. We got to this cross, so there's this cross behind me that I'm gonna show you guys and basically it was put up because when they were constructing the wall they couldn't move all of the graves so that cross has been put there to commemorate the graves that haven't been moved so as Shanesu said just now like we could be standing on people's graves and we don't even know it i mean we know it but like where is it like where where their graves are if it's a thousand then yeah it could be Wait, i can't I just, I don't even know what to say. Yesterday we did the um, memorial to the Jewish um, population killed, all of that negative stuff. And today was supposed to be an uplifting, you know, happy, happy day. So far it's really not. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's just really dark. Yeah. I'm it, not gonna it lie. It's really somber. Yeah. But, you know. Like, Compared to other cities that we've been to where yeah, there's just like an so, upbeat. It's so sad. It's, yeah, Berlin is giving me sad vibes. Um, uh, oh wow. Too much terrible stuff happened. Yeah. But you know, on the bright side, I guess the country is recovering. Yeah. Um, from all that negativity. Yeah. It's been. I think 30 years now, hopefully, you know, actually not even, because the, the war was um, broken down in 1990 and 1992, from 1992 right. to 1992. Oh so it's about 25 years since the destruction. Right. So it's very fresh. It's, yeah, the room yeah, is I still mean, fresh. Zim independence was 37 years ago. Hmm. Hmm. They say independence, but you know, it's a loose term. It's a loose term. <laughs> um but yeah no it's isn't it the thing is that there's so much history in berlin i think if you're if you're a history person then you have to come and visit it's honestly like such a history rich yeah it's a lot it's a lot um but yeah let's keep on moving we've done all of the like historical well this is still historical but this is more like natural so we're about to enter the natural museum or the berlin natural museum you ready, girl? Oh, I was born ready. She was born ready. Let's born. get it. Let's go. So we're in the museum that has the world's oldest dinosaur, and we're about to walk in. I'm gonna show you guys the dinosaur. Oh my god, I love I love stuff like this. I love museums. And we just appreciate. I don't know if this is the world's tallest or the world's biggest. That was the same thing. The world's oldest is what I meant to say, but this is it. Guys, look at this. It's a dinosaur. So it's actually the world's largest dinosaur skeleton. And it's on display here in Berlin at the Natural Museum. Um, it's such a big skeleton. Like I can't, I feel like the camera just doesn't do it any justice. 
Um, so I was talking to the lady and she was telling me that not all of it is the sort of the original skeleton. So all of this is original, so that's the original bone. But if I zoom in here, that claw thing is plastic. Big. <laughs> does it make you feel so tiny? It does. No, but could you imagine, like, the, around the time when this was like a thing? Yeah. Like it was running around. No, I don't want to imagine. imagine. Being by I don't want to imagine. By a T Rex. I just live in a cave. <laughs> I'm not usually like a history kind of person like I like geography and I like discovering like countries and you know that kind of stuff but this is incredible like this is actually pretty sick so if you're in Berlin hit the Natural History Museum it's right by the Berlin War Memorial well not right by it's like a 10 minute tram ride but you get to try out the tram you know see the city um, but yeah, you have to come and see this. Look at it. Look at how big that looks. That's insane. Um, but yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a history person. I'm more of a geography person. <laughs> more of a geography person. But, you know, if you're in Berlin, you have to come and see this. Like, it's, it's big. It's big. You can't be in the city and not see the world's largest skeleton dinosaur. Dinosaur skeleton. Um, but yeah, check it out. chocolate place <laughs> and we can finally make our chocolate so we can vlog it and you guys can see you guys you can see how we make it.